Two guys walk into a bar in a scary movie. One's a black guy, the other's the white main character. The white guy says, man, I sure hate scary movies. And then the black guy says, he dies within the first couple of seconds of this video. Get it? If you don't get the joke, don't worry. Find out more on my first episode of Where Do Cliches Come From? This week we talk about how the black guy dies first in horror movies. Growing up, horror movies were always my favorite genre. I didn't have cable for an extended period in my childhood, and the horror genre were the only films TV stations could censor and still keep the film entertaining. I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday play. I, like most movie buffs, will constantly yell at the screen and give advice to the characters before a fatality. Bitch, hang the phone up and star 69 is ass. Damn. I'm willing to bet if the main characters were like me, 75% of horror movie victims would still be alive today. Or would they? See, the thing is, I'm black and apparently, we always die first in horror movies. According to this film trope, no matter how fast I could run or how smart I am, I die in the first 15 minutes of a film. False. As I stated earlier, I watch horror movies a lot. This includes the popular ones and the ones no one remembers. Out of all the horror movies I've watched, occasionally, a brother would be the first one to say goodnight, but most of the time, they survived or were killed outside of the first five fatalities. Those stats look pretty good in my book. Where did this trope come from? Who would invent such a rumor? To find out, we're gonna go back in time. What we're gonna do right here is go back, way back, back into time. See, back in the day, when films were black and white, there were barely any black people in them. When you did see black people, they usually served this comic relief. He good. He must be crazy. Hollywood had more restrictions on what they could and couldn't show in major productions. So the good news was, you'd rarely see anybody die in scary movies. Manton Moreland, for example, would constantly be placed in the face of danger and he would constantly laugh at it like Simba did. Because whether you were black or white, you were safe in horror movies. To find out where things started getting dangerous, we'll have to go back into our time machine. In 1967, Manton Moreland, who had survived countless horror movies before, well, his luck ran out. In the beginning of 1967 Spider Baby, he became the first black man to die within the first 10 minutes of a movie. Cinema would never be the same again. His death sent shockwaves throughout Tinseltown. After that point, if you were black, an actor, and wanted a gig in Hollywood, you had better been good at dying, like really, really well, or they didn't want to see your resume. Due to the lack of respectable roles in Hollywood, this ushered in the exploitation film era during the 1970s. The era received a lot of criticism for perpetuating black stereotypes. In these films, black men were pimps, black women were hoes, but the good news? Black people didn't die first in horror movies. Black people had a healthy alternative than just showing up to work for a day to die within the first 10 minutes of a film. If you remove this decade from any alternative timeline, the only roles that will be available to black people are the types of roles like Moreland's and Spider Baby. In the 70s, it wasn't all about black exploitation. In fact, it was all about the Benjamins. Low budget gore films like Rosemary's Baby became huge box office successes and this gave Hollywood a blueprint. Spend the least amount of money you can, kill the most amount of people you can, and you can make the most amount of money you can. This formula would give rise to countless slasher films and monster movies. Leading this renaissance was a film titled Alien. This is the earliest film I could point to that best defines the horror genre as it is today. Put your main character in the center of a lot of characters the audience doesn't care about. These throwaway characters almost always include the infamous black man. Ooh, you know he did. Yeah, the black man will definitely die, but he doesn't always die first. In fact, in Alien, the black guys were two out of the three of the last survivors. Parker makes it all the way into the end before he says night night. You have to go night night You have to go night night And the last one to die is the alien, which by the way is played by a black man. So technically, black men die last in horror movies. Well, not really, because then the 80s happened. The 80s were a happy time for black people. The number one sitcom in America was The Cosby Show. The number one recording artist in the world was black. And hip hop entered mainstream. As a race, black people were winning in real life. But in movies, we couldn't stop dying. It was like some sort of venereal disease. See, if you're going to get screwed by Hollywood, it's best you wear a condom. In 1980, we witnessed Dick from The Shining get killed. What was so bad was he was the only person Jack killed in the whole movie. In 1986, 
Frost died first and it was so embarrassing because he didn't even put up a fight. And the worst one of all, the biology teacher from the Gremlins went out like a sucker. And you want to know the worst part of that? Years later, 27 years to be exact. You would think black people will come a long way and have better roles in Hollywood, but no, no, no. Look at good old Roy Hansen, basically almost playing the same dude in Super 8. There he is, dying first again. That's racist. No, my friend, that's Hollywood. Damn. My bad, y'all. Sorry to get so sensitive, but stuff like that hurts my feelings. I'll admit, black people die first sometimes in horror movies, but out of all the horror films that came out in the 80s, I was only able to find nine examples. And I was only able to find 28 total examples of black people dying first since the beginning of time. So always is a strong word. So when did this cliche become a thing? I thought you'd never ask. And even though you didn't, I'll still tell you. Remember that movie you don't remember? Yeah, that's the one. Way back in time, 20 years ago to be exact. Roger Ebert reviewed that movie and his words were as follow. At this point, we could easily predict the death of the assistant. He's an African-American and so falls under the BADF action movie rule. The brother always dies first. This just goes to show, you can't trust everything a man says, especially when said man doesn't even like usual suspects or gladiator. Without doing any fact checking, Ebert's audience ran with the quote. He couldn't take it back. No one could. The world would never be the same again. Maybe, just maybe, that's what Ebert had intended all along. Actually, the idea of black guys dying first in horror movies isn't entirely Ebert's fault. If we pay attention to his quote, he never suggested that black guys always die first in horror movies. He suggested they always die first in action movies, which by the way, is totally false also. Ebert's quote had a snowball effect and became the punchline to every rapper's 16th bar in a freestyle. It's a horror flick, but the black guy doesn't die in this movie. It also didn't help that three months after Ebert's quote, Scream 2 was released and Omar Epps and Jada Pinkett Smith set a record for the quickest black people to die in a horror movie back to back. Before Ebert said what he said, from 1967 to 1997, there were 14 reported cases of black guys dying first in a horror movie. From 1997 to 2017, after his quote, there were 14 instances where a black person died first. That means half the cases of black people dying first in horror films happened in the last 20 years, so it's tough not to credit Ebert for that trope. 28 black people dying isn't a low number, but it's way less than hoes that die first, jocks that die first, or first person on the screen that dies first. So you can't consider it a trope if it rarely happens. There's approximately 1,800 American horror films, and with the 28 cases we found, no. It's not true black guys always die first in horror movies. In fact, black people only die first 1.3% of the time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the whole video. I pay attention to movie cliches and tropes a lot, and this one was especially fun to research. If you have a trope in mind you would like me to discuss in a future video, share the trope below. Click the like and subscribe button to keep up with my future videos. And if there's a horror film where the black guy dies first that I left off the video, feel free to comment below.